So just making supper. I'm a real good woman today. I'm feeling super fantastic. Awesome. Uh, <clears throat> work work update. It's been going great. I feel like I'm killing cash. Not that I'm actually killing cash, but I, I could actually be killing cash. I'm probably killing the cash register. I have realized no matter how long I'm probably going to be doing it, I am absolutely horrendous at counting money and always will be. Like it's just, it's just a me thing. I'm atrocious. And I, I can't count money back to people. But anyway, uh, I've been doing really good. No cosmetic shifts so far. Sad. Sad panda. Sad panda. Anyway, um, but uh, I had my first like all day shift on Sunday. And I don't work until Thursday, which is the way I like it. Because it's hard. It is hard going back to work after being with my son for a year. I had a whole year of my little baby man. Every day, all day, nothing but him. And I like it that way. I wish it could stay that way. I wish I was a stay-at-home mom. But, you know. Because then my life could be like you guys and my son. And that's exactly how I want it. <laughs> Thumbs up if you like the idea. Because <laughs> I love it. And, and plus that also gives me the ability to actually take care of myself. <laughs> Though I, I feel I'm doing pretty good. Uh, for the last six days, I have been doing my seven minutes every day. Killing it. Yeah. Uh, I also went for a jog today, my zombie run. Dog fighting. I love going for my, you, you guys know me. And this year's race is out. It's Halloween. It is called Tomorrowland. Like, thumbs up this video if you would love to see that run. Because you know me and my zombies and my zombies run. It's my zombie. <sighs> I do it every year. <laughs> I've done it every year for the past. Oh my gosh. Like four years maybe? Ooh, speaking of which, I have to show you the display case of what my husband did. Supper is on the stove right now. Tonight... We are having haggis. Kind of leery, a little excited. Uh, for those of you that don't know, haggis is a uh, traditional Scottish dish. Uh, it's normally boiled in sheeps. It's it's a uh, like oatmeal. Uh, it's all kinds of meat boiled in a sheep's stomach. Salty, meaty goodness with a little bit of oatmeal. And have it with potatoes and beans. I don't know. Maybe, boy, uh, maybe have some eggs with it. Protein, bruh. Which would be nice. I feel exhausted after my run. And I still have yet to do my seven minutes today. So cross your fingers that I'm actually a really good girl. I did my Duolingo. Oh, and that's the other thing. I've been doing my Duolingo every day. I'm learning Spanish because we're going on our honeymoon and I want to be, you know, <clears throat> picante, fluent in Espanol. But um, I'm gonna show you my, currently my son is watching my son fell asleep to the Furchester Hotel. Which is a brilliant mix of Manchester Hotel and the Muppets. Yeah, it's a, it's a new Muppet show that's actually on Netflix. It has to do with, like, it it's... Well, the name kind of explains it all. It's the Furchester. But anyway, this is... My zombie wall, it has all of my my medals. It has all the medals that I have gotten 
So it's one, two, three, yeah, four, though actually I lost two medals or I lost two medals or a medal in the fire. I think it was two medals. So I lost two medals in the fire, so that's four. I've been doing it for six years. <laughs> Every year for the last six years, or maybe, actually no, I think it's for the last five years. Every year for the last five years, I have been doing, because some of those I think actually might be the same year, because some of the runs actually doubled up uh, a bit. They had like a spring race and a fall race, which was nice, and I at least did one twice, but I've done it every year since I found it. Uh, hashtag zombie life. Which is funny because I am deathly afraid, but yet seem to love zombies. We have this weird love-hate relationship going on. So, but since my son is asleep, I should probably bring, well, I should just roll out my yoga mat downstairs and do my saving minutes. I know you guys have seemed to like and watch the jogging vlogs the most. So if you guys want to see more exercise videos and me doing exercise and being healthy, thumbs up this video and comment down below what you would like to see me do. Um, most of them's probably just me jogging and uh, definitely doing seven minutes. I like to do yoga. You guys can follow along with that. Because the journey of health is a constant, consistent journey. I mean, I'll admit, the only real healthy thing I kind of do for myself is exercise. I'm not the healthiest of eaters. Actually, sort of. I'm just not much for sweets. So... The way I'm healthy is that I don't eat a lot of sweets. I more love my veg and my salad, uh, my veg and fruit, which is really good. Oh, and lately, I've been really into eating oatmeal because it's really easy to eat oatmeal in the morning. This is my coffee bar. <laughs> Coffee, very important thing. Mothers, very important. You older mothers, you know this. For those of you that are coffee addicts like me, I'm like 90% coffee, 10% water. Uh, uh, so anyway, uh, coffee in the morning. And then I'll have a, a hot cereal with currants. And um, my father-in-law, uh, last time, uh, while well, we were up in BC, <clears throat> did, uh, something that, he, he's a bit of a chef, and he showed me something that I was just like, I am now addicted to, I can't get enough of, I've been eating it since we came back from BC, so I have oatmeal, I got Scottish porridge, the 10 grain cereal. I like that. You can get also 7 grain. It's by Red Mill. Best, honestly, I feel like best company that does like hot cereal stuff. Those ones are really nice because I like the more, like I like the Scottish oats and the 10 grain or 7 grain or 8 grain cereals <clears throat> and then uh, the steel cut because quick oats just don't do it for me. It's to the texture is all off. Bothers me. The text bothers me. And so what I'll do is have my, what I feel is more filling and hearty cereal with butter and maple syrup. Maple, the, the butter part's kind of indulgent, but it tastes so good. Seriously. And then I put currants in there. No milk, nothing, just butter and people. I'm 
It ain't some Aunt Jemima fake sugary. This is actually probably pretty sugary though. Got like 50 grams of sugar. But pure, unadulterated, 100% Michael syrup. This is the stuff that you need to put in your porridge. Seriously, I am so Canadian. I will drink this shit. I have. Maple syrup has, honestly, it doesn't taste that sweet or sugary. It almost has like a smoky kind of woody flavor. Even if you smell it, it smells outdoorsy. It almost smells manly. It smells like it came out of a tree's ass. Which you kind of did. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Bad language. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, um, my maple syrup. I have that one, and then there's also this one. They have a slightly different flavor. Uh, I'm very tempted to go around and, ooh, this is product of Quebec, <gasps> which is where I want to go, Ontario, Quebec. They have this, like in the winter, they have like this taffy run thing. Like They go and they literally make runs in the snow and pour maple syrup in the snow and then roll it onto a popsicle stick. That is the closest to heaven you will ever get. Closest to heaven. I swear. Maple syrup. And then for work, because coffee, me, never can live without. I got this for work. I'm gonna write my name on it and then put it in the fridge. So exciting. Plus me and caramel. Salted caramel. If I'm going for a sweet, But anyway, that's uh, pretty much my day. It will end most likely with supper, yoga, seven minutes. And uh, Jacqueline should be coming over most likely with Becca because Tuesdays and Thursdays are supposed to be our workout days. We kind of fell off the wagon, but oh, and I need a shower. I miss Gracie. But you know, I'm more concerned about taking care of my son. He probably gets more baths than I do. Clean the house, do the laundry, take care of my child. Because momming is a full-time job that husbands do, but don't understand. And fall is clearly coming through. Because it is windy and cold and rainy. It's not even October yet. Goddamn global warming. But yeah. I love you all. I hope you're having a fantastic mom day. Um, I know I am like so behind on uploads. But they're coming. The videos are flowing in. And uh, they will be loaded and stuff. And even if they're not on time, the videos will be there. So I will talk to you guys later. Love you so much. Have a fantastic mom day. Don't forget, you are amazing. And you're doing it. Right? You may be tired. You may be exhausted. You may get frustrated with your kids. But just as long as you're spending time with them and you know you love them, at the end of the day, you can't stop staring at their sweet little faces. You are doing it right. Okay? And that is girls enough! That is me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Hit that bell notification thing so that you know when I've uploaded a video. Love you guys so much. Subscribe.